The People's Action Party's candidate, Dr. Kopo Kun, shared with us his biggest takeaways from his by-election bid. He says it's important to have a good, strong team and to continue to be sincere with residents. The by-election is over, but the work continues. At about 9 a.m. on Sunday, Dr. Ko Po Kun and his party activists made the rounds in the estates. Dr. Ko garnered 43.7% of the votes and lost to Workers' Party's Li Li Lian, who took 54.5% of the vote share. He's proud that he and his team had done their best. Oh, I would say that uh, for a rookie, Having been on the ground for two weeks, uh, it wasn't too bad. Well, I wish her the best. I think the residents have made their choice and uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an opportunity for her to show what she can do for the residents. Having spent nine intense days walking the ground here in Pongo East, Dr. Koh said he's naturally disappointed that he may not be able to carry out some of the plans that he had outlined during his campaign. But he added that he respects the voters' decision and hopes their new MP can serve them well. I'm grateful for the opportunity to connect with the residents and I can see that uh, there's still quite a number of residents who are waving back and supportive. I felt encouraged. As for his immediate plans, he said he'll work closely with activists and volunteers to see how they can continue serving residents. But he remained tight-lipped on what he has in mind for the long term when reporters asked him if he'll be back in the next general election due in 2016. I think it's premature to say that right now. We're just trying to uh, consolidate what we have and also to make sure that our activists and volunteers uh, have a clear direction what to do. With the hastings behind him, Dr. Ko and his team will analyse the results of his first election outing and then see what the Prime Minister has in mind for the constituency and for him before he decides on his next move.